A Thread by Carlos Oswita for Miss Marple 2. Krista Cooper at Miss Marple 2 tweets, ran across a failed Dem candidate, Pete Booty Judge, who was on CNN yesterday telling us not only was Trump dangerous, but exhausting. Treated us like hostages. Said vote Dem November 3rd and it will stop. It won't. Just get worse. Dems are despicable and I'm going to fight and win. Carlos responds, this is called a protection racket. The mafia did it. Nice little country you got there. Be a shame if someone wrecked it because you voted the wrong way. Political suicide. I've been watching mobster murders from a series I never watched, Boardwalk Empire. I watch to see how ridiculously unrealistic they are. Here's Al Capone's brother, Frank, absorbing 245 caliber rounds and 112 gauge shotgun blasts before going down. Link in the description. Now, in reality, Al Capone is the reason the Republicans lost Chicago to the Democrats. Capone moved his operations to Cicero, Illinois, and in the 1924 municipal elections, corrupt GOP mayor Joseph Z. Klena was finally in danger of losing. Klena told Capone that if Capone made sure Klena won, Klena would protect Capone. So Cicero became 2020. Mobsters roamed the streets with baseball bats, assaulting citizens and warning them against voting for the Democrats. There were shootings, kidnappings, stabbings. It was the worst political violence in the history of Cook County. The cops brought in 170 men, but the violence escalated. Clena won the election and Capone was safe in Cicero until he was nailed by the feds in 1931. In the 1932 elections, Klena was utterly destroyed in the most massive political backlash that the town had ever seen. Now, Klena was the incumbent. Today's mobsters are the challengers. Other than that, the dynamic is identical. The democratic strategy is as insane as everything else they do. Vote for us or we'll keep on terrorizing you. That's not how it works. Leftists have misunderstood the purpose of terrorism. Capone's terrorism was designed to keep the incumbent in power. All dictatorships operate that way. Terrorism from challengers is designed to make the incumbent overreact. The French, during the Algerian War of Independence, 1954 to 1962, the French were as bad as the Nazis were after the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich. This level of savagery backfired, as it always does. Trump's enemies are blockheads. They have no idea what he's up to, because they all see him as a suit and a golf course. This is the inner Trump, Coast Guard Corsair 1940. When the challengers threaten you and the incumbent is making your life better, who are you going to support? The Democrats are doing Trump's job for him. Finally, I keep hearing people moaning that Trump isn't doing anything about voter fraud. Why do I always have to lead the damn horses to water? When will the horses grow the brains to find water on their own? Ever? From NBC New York, Patterson City Council Vice President, among four charged in voter fraud scheme. When you demand to be spoon-fed your information, people will take advantage of that. That's why both sides are deliberately scaring you. As long as you continue to be resolutely uninformed, you'll be a patsy, a buffoon. That's your choice. If you take your brain out of storage, brush off the cobwebs, and plug it in, you'll be much happier. But go ahead and be miserable.
not my problem. <laughs>